Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I've uh, recently been painting leather pouches um, and for that I'm going to use the half of one of my um, Outrider bikes here. Uh, now we can see that there's a, a large sort of holster on the side which would be perfect to show you uh, exactly what I do and I've undercoated this with a Rhinox hide. Um, now uh, bear with me because I think it does work. I'm going to be using um, Warlock Purple um, to highlight this um, with some sort of Screaming Skull at the end. Um, now it doesn't really matter which sort of magenta you've got. Um, obviously you you know you might not have access to these older Games Workshop colours and you're going to use something from the current Citadel um, selection. But yeah a magenta um, is what you're going to need. Um, and firstly what we're going to do is mix up um, these two paints. Um, so we've got a somewhat sort of brownie magenta for the technical term there. So let me just grab a little bit of this. Now the amount you're going to need will depend on the magenta paint you end up using. So the one I've got is very very thin so I don't need a huge amount of brown uh, in it. So let me quickly keep adding a little bit more until I'm happy with it. So there we go, that's a bit that's a bit better. I don't know whether you can see on the brush. No, of course you can't. So let me just show you the colour I've gone with. There we are. On my state-of-the-art mixing palette here. Now, the technique involves painting lots and lots of crisscrossing lines over the piece. So if we've got this part here, I'm going to constantly paint lots of diagonal lines from one side to the other and then from this side I'm going to go back on myself and do that. Now you can see it um, due to the fact that the uh, wet paint is showing on the, the matte base coat here now that obviously I've, the, the base coat's dry but what you'll be seeing without the light shining on it um, is not much at all. This is, especially because the magenta I'm using is really, really thin. It's only until the next few stages do we start really building the uh, the visuals up a little bit. So we're going to continue to do this until you're, you're fairly happy with it. These first lines you're doing, they don't have to be um, amazingly thin, um, which is fine. And then I would just quickly on the sides of the pouches go along like so. So let me see if I can focus in on that. You can roughly see it more so when the light catches the wet paint. But that's all there is to the first first stage. Um, so let me let this dry. I've got the rest of this. I've got a few bikers I'm painting. So I'm going to get the rest of all the leather work, the saddles and whatnot done. And then I'll see you in a bit for stage two. So with that dry, we're going to move on to um, the magenta layer on its own. Um, so whichever, whichever magenta you've chosen to use, we're just going to grab it neat out the pot. Um, because this one is relatively thin, I, I may go back and do a couple of the lines again once it's dried. Um, but we want to just paint over some of these uh, diagonal lines we've been putting on. Now it, we don't have to be exact, we don't have to try and go like for like over the ones we've already done. But I do want to be a little bit more careful with um, where I'm, or how thin the line is going to be. So it's very difficult to pick up at this stage on the camera. So apologies for that. I'm going to go back and do some crisscrossing diagonal lines up and down the pouch. Um, I'm not going to really go towards the centre this time. Um, he says he just pulls a line into the centre, but I'm leaving the middle um, somewhat uh, empty. And if you're you're watching this and going, he goes um quite a lot. Trust me, it annoys me just as much as it does you when I'm editing these videos, but there we are. Apparently my brain doesn't work when I'm painting and I just go, um. The other thing I'm going to do 
is edge highlight some of these corners. So we're just going to use the, the edge of the brush and sort of paint round these panels, just like so. And very carefully do a line along the outside. Again, it's really difficult to pick up because the paint's so thin and the part is so dark. So bear with me just a moment. All right, so where are we? Let's focus in. So hopefully with the the gloss wet, you can see just where I've applied that. But yeah, just carry on putting some lines on. Start start with a mix of brown and magenta, then go to just magenta. And then in the next step, I'm going to go and get the, the skull white or bleach bone, whatever it's called now. Not skull white. Screaming skull or bleach bone. I can't remember which one's the old name, which one's the new name. There we go. So give me a second and I'll come back with uh, the next step. So with that all done, um, we're going to mix together some magenta and ivory. So I'm using obviously the, uh, was it the Warlock Purple as I said earlier, and uh, Screaming Skull. And I'm also using a much finer brush this time round. And the colour I've made is turn it back up a little bit more on the magenta side. So it looks like quite a pink. I might just add a little bit of water in there as well. Now we want to be even more careful with the uh, thickness of these lines we're going to paint. So. Just like so. Add a little bit more water again. Go to the other side, then turn it upside down. I was going to say, what's that noise? Boil it's doing something. All right, there we are. So you've got that either side. Then I'll do something similar at the bottom. So we'll just go up. And then from a different direction. So the centre of it is still quite brown. And we're just doing the edges now. It almost edge highlights it as well. But in the cases of like... Get my thumb out of the way, this corner, just put a line there. Add some small crisscrossing at the edge. And similarly on the other side, just going to edge highlight that. And then I'm going to pick out the little sort of tag underneath. Edge highlight the boy that was making some really weird noises. Um, And then lastly, just at the top. So there we go. Now, if I wash that brush out. That's all we need the magenta for now. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the Screaming Skull on its own. Water it down just a tad. And then towards the sort of corners, I want to pull some 
lines. Houses make all sorts of weird noises. It's normally fine, but it goes. I think it knows I'm I'm recording, so it's going to go right. Pick out these corners here. If uh, if the line doesn't come easily, just add that little bit more water to the mixture. And with some of these lines, I will actually pull out into the middle. Just like that. I hope I still, I'm still in focus. I haven't checked in a while. So just carry on going until you're kind of happy with it. And then it dropped on the floor. And then again, just on the inside, just pull a few lines in down there. Then any sort of like real edges just come in and Effectively, what we're trying to paint here is as the leather's got older, like the, uh, I suppose the top top part of it is kind of worn away. Um, so let me leave that to dry in just a second, uh, and then we'll put a brown wash on top. So bear with me just a moment. So final stage, um, I just want to mute the colours down a little bit. And with that, I'm going to use my uh, Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to use the brush I started off using. I don't need the fine detail this time round. Um, and I'm sure no one know, uh, no one needs to know how to apply a wash. But there we go. Added it anyway. Uh, and we're just going to come in. Not too heavy. But um, just enough to cover it all. And go down the sides. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you doing all of this. So I've almost done it anyway. But yeah, let me fast forward to when it's done. So now the um, wash has dried. You can see how it's muted down the colours in the previous steps. Um, hopefully you found this uh, technique interesting. I was certainly hesitant at first to use sort of magentas to highlight leather, but I, I think it works. If you're interested in seeing the completion of this model, you can check out my Instagram feed, which will be linked in the description of the video. But until next time, guys, take it easy.